Hello, it's Sunday, June 11th. It's about afternoon, noon time, and it's day plus three of my bone marrow transplant. Um, I didn't do a day plus two video, so don't go looking for it. You won't find it. Don't bug me about it. I know I didn't do it. But hey, you got a day plus one video, a bonus video. That little 17 second clip of me showing you what the bone marrow looked like. I had gotten a question from one of you guys about what type of bone marrow it was. It's the type that's taken from an unrelated donor from their bloodstream. And uh, anyway, so that's what that was. And I, I zoomed in on the upper right corner, if you notice on that video. And if you didn't, uh, it says it says uh, blood type, A minus. But hey, I'm an O positive. I've been O positive my whole life. Why are they giving me A minus? And it's just interesting that someone who has an unrelated bone marrow transplant match could actually have a different blood type than you. And I think I may have mentioned this before in a different video, uh, but that will become my blood type. Even though I'm O positive, uh, and they gave me that A negative, I will eventually become A negative. And interestingly, every night around midnight, I get blood draws done. They do, you know, do blood draws to see what my platelets are at, what my red blood cells are, and they're doing a transfusion. So far, I haven't needed any transfusions, although they are getting, the reds and the bladelets are getting really low and my whites are getting low. Uh, but I'm not in transfusion range yet. And uh, when they do these tests, I'm able to read them like, you know, a few hours later because they post them on what's called my chart and you can actually go on the internet and see what the results of your tests were. And it's interestingly, sometimes I'll look at my blood type and sometimes it'll say oh, positive and sometimes it'll say negative. And I asked one of the nurses about that. Actually, no, I asked the doctor about that. And he says, yeah, it'll flip-flop until, uh, you know, that that bone marrow takes more hold and eventually we will become a negative. But I thought that was interesting. I thought you might find it interesting too. Um, so that was the bonus video from day one. So that's why you didn't get a bonus uh, a video from day two. And that's what I'm saying and that's what I'm sticking with. So um, I want to talk about a little bit about routine. Uh, yesterday, uh, it dawned on me I need to like have a routine going here because they're in here every day at the same times, every four hours. It starts at midnight. They come in here and they do blood draws and then it continues every four hours throughout the day. They do at least a blood pressure check on me every four hours. I don't know what they'll do with you. Uh, there's, I think I get meds every morning at eight in the morning, but the most of my net meds come at eight at night. Uh, at least that's the way it seems. Of course, you can get meds throughout the day for nausea and diarrhea and constipation or whatever, but generally the meds are given twice a day. Unless you're on a weird one that you have to take it three times a day or four times a day or something. But mine are just like once a day for the most part. And some are usually given in the morning and the rest are given at, at night. I might have a couple that are two times a day in there, but whatever. But just a routine. So they're going to, you know, here at my hospital, you got two nurses. One, one works 12 hours from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. And the other one works from 7 at night till 7 in the morning. And uh, they do the same thing every day, you know, basically, it doesn't matter who it is. They're in here at about, about midnight, they're in here at about four in the morning, about eight in the morning, about 12 in the afternoon, about four in the afternoon, about eight at night, and then again at midnight, doing those blood pressure tests and you know, giving you different pills at different times of day. So rather than get mad about like getting woken up at like, you know, midnight, uh, my routine is I go ahead and I get, have them give me a sleeping pill at nine o'clock that has a, that operates based on your melatonin, I guess. And it's very effective and it, it did. It, uh, I all of a sudden started feeling real sleepy and it was real good. And I was able to sleep uh, solid and even dream for the first time uh, in a while since I've been here. Actually get good REM sleep and uh, I think it's because of getting that sleep drop and uh, having a routine. Because earlier in the day, I was able to, you know, nap here and there. 
so that I wouldn't be like wiped out at midnight when they woke me up. And that, uh, you know, I would be able to get back to sleep afterwards. Uh, as opposed to like, you know, becoming restless sometimes when you like only get a couple hours sleep and then you have trouble going back to sleep. If you're kind of rested anyway, I always found it was easier to go back to sleep if you're rested. But anyway, uh, so yeah, learn your routine and then try and operate around it. Take your naps during the day. I take naps often uh, between like one and three. Uh, I might even take another nap between like five and six. And you know, like after lunch, take a nap and then just before dinner, take a nap is what I'll, I'll do. Uh, I might even nap early in the morning. I might get up at five in the morning because, you know, they wake up at 4.30 anyway. I might just get up at five in the morning and then nap again from like six to six to eight or something like that. So, you know, you, you got your spots, so pick them because it'll help you in the long run and you'll be happy with it. Um, I, I see I'm getting a little long here, but uh, I like to have a little story and my story today is is about my dream I had last night I wasn't able to remember a lot of specifics about it but I remember that I'm well known in my community at least I was for being a, a nice guy and I think I am a nice guy and especially with dogs people's dogs and whatnot and just you know my my I think my conduct with the public in general was pretty impeccable and uh, so I've, I always thought that I'd be known as a, a real nice guy in town, and I think I am. But my dream last night was, I guess I had to do with this blood type being different, that all of a sudden I became this different person. And when I got out of the hospital and got out of, you know, everything done, and I was able to go back home and start interacting with the public again, uh, <laughs> I started being... A really different person and people started like hating me and I became like the most hated person in town and uh, oh it was awful I just the bits and pieces were just you know there was this gentleman down there who uh, owns a, a, a farm down there and a, and a couple of businesses associated with the farm and he's a building he's been assaulted the earth and just the nicest guy to me and I made this guy upset, and having him upset me was the worst thing ever that happened to me. But anyway, I just thought that was funny, that how your mind can trick you like that. And uh, you go from being a real nice guy, member of the community, to like being this hated person just because you had a, a bone marrow transplant. Anyway, uh, I went way too long today. Uh, this is actually my fourth shot of making this video because I kept getting interrupted. Uh, and we'll just end it here and say, you know, keep the course, come up with a good plan, and uh, you'll get through this. It's getting a little easier for me. Uh, and uh, although I, did, I have another eight year coming up where I'm gonna hit bottom again here in a few days, because it gave me another dose of some chemo today. But uh, anyway, it's a bunch of little valleys. It's a bunch of valleys, up and down, up and down. Just get through them. Take them one at a time, have a plan. Uh, don't rush things. You got all the time in the world to clean up after yourself if you have a boo-boo. Uh, you got all the time in the world to like, you know, just do what you want to do when this is all over. So give up the strength, have courage, and uh, ta-ta for now.